this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool like paper collage transition in Final Cut using some really cool paper rip overlays that are for sale on my digital store. The link is down in the description below. Now these aren't plugins or presets, they're just simply PNG overlays so you don't want to install them in any motion template folder, you can simply import them into Final Cut. So if I go ahead and just play it right here as you can see you can create these really cool like paper collage transitions and again all you want to do is click on command I to bring up the import window and then you're going to locate wherever you have it uh, saved. So you can see paper collage collage pack you can either select on the folder or you can go ahead and just open up and select on this one or you can go to the paper of overlays and all you would do is just select on all of them the folder or, or whichever ones you want and then just go ahead and click on import selected and they'll just import that them into Final Cut so what you're gonna need is you need two separate clips or you could also use this effect with photos so you see I have two clips right here and basically I just overlap the first 10 frames of clip number two on top of clip number one so you can see if I go to the arrow key one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now what you want to do right here is you want to select on this point right here, click on Command B to blade the clip, because we only want to be affecting this clip right here. So what you want to do is let's say we want to use Paper Rip Overlay 5, place the overlay on top of this section. All you want to do is you want to go ahead and just trim it to fit that duration. And you want to make sure the clips, the overlay and the clip completely line up. If it's off a little bit, it's going to look a little bit weird. So what you want to do is you want to select this overlay, hold down the option key, so, and just basically you're going to duplicate to create a copy. What you want to do is you want to select on this layer right here, blend mode, change the blend mode to stencil alpha, so stencil alpha. Then what you want to do is you want to click on this clip right here, the top one, and you want to change this blend mode to screen right here. And now what you want to do is you want to select on all three of these right here and click on option G to create a compound clip. And we'll just call this rip um, one and click on return. And there you go. Just as simple as that. Now you have created that really cool C before and then after. Now you have this really cool paper of overlay. If we go ahead and put the clip right here, this is what it looks like. It kind of transitions into that next clip, which I think that looks really cool. But I'm going to go over a couple more things to make it look even cooler. So what you want to do is you want to select on this clip right here and you want to hold down the option key and basically I'm going to create two more copies so I have a total of three copies. Now I'm going to go ahead and offset these a little bit. So I'll go one, two, three. Let's go ahead and trim this one. One, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and just trim this one. So this one is four frames, this one is seven frames, and this one is ten frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on um, this paper right here and let's just go ahead and um, leave it how it is. Actually in this case let's go ahead and drag these clips underneath it to create a really cool effect. So we're going to go ahead and just leave the first clip just how it is. Now we're going to go over to this one right here. We're going to increase the scale a little bit. So increase it to like let's say 150. We're going to go ahead and drag the position over to something like this. So around maybe like 520. Now we're going to head over here to this bottom one and let's increase the scale even more so like maybe 227 and let's take the X and we're gonna drag the X over right here and maybe we want to move the Y position down to something like this so you're just basically kind of like offsetting them and adjusting the position and scale if we go ahead and play the clip as you can see now you have this really cool transition which I think is again a really cool transition so there you go just as simple as that it's just kind of you're messing around with it and you can create a really cool transition like the one you see on the screen now I want to show you one other trick if you go ahead and just open up this compound clip right here and you go ahead and select on, on the photo because we use like the blend mode stencil alpha you can actually adjust the photo so we select on the photo right here as you can see you can actually increase the scale of the photo and you can move the position but because we use that stencil alpha blend mode as you can see it's never going to go past that white line so that's really cool it's just so you have a basic understanding because you're using blend mode as you see I can adjust the photo however I want and no matter what I do it's always going to stay inside that paper border so let's say we want to move it something like this and we can go ahead and just click on this um, back arrow right here and now you have adjusted the position so that's just a really cool tip to know you can actually just move the photo so you're not just limited to exactly where the photo is you can adjust the position of the photo as you can see now the transition looks a little bit different. Now when you buy the paper collage pack it's also going to come with a couple other really cool effects. Now this is going to be the paper up collage 01 and paper up collage 02. This is just a really cool effect. It's just going to save you a lot of time. Instead of going through and cropping everything doing it you know all step by step you can actually just go ahead and apply one of these really cool like paper collage effects. So we take the paper collage and just drag it on top of this clip right here. Now this is basically going to be utilizing blend modes. Now this 
effect is really good for like match cuts. So if you have two clips that are very similar, it's gonna look even better, but it also is just a really cool effect. So we go ahead and drag this clip on top of the first. So we drag the second clip on top of the first clip right here. Again, make sure everything completely lines up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select on this video file, go over here to blend mode. In this case, we're gonna change the blend mode to stencil luma. So change it to stencil luma. Then what you wanna do is you wanna select both of these option G and we'll call this um, we'll call this like collage one click on OK and basically you can see right here now you have this really cool like collage effect so if I play the clip right here as you see you this really clean really cool collage effect now obviously this isn't like a super like mind-blowing effect but it, it definitely it saves you a lot of time instead of going through and like you know adjusting the crop of the top clip right here you can just simply apply this preset and you have this really cool like collage effect now you can also head over here to the of the effects panel this this is a built-in effect for Final Cut called Drop Shadow. Just simply apply the effect on top of the uh, compound clip. As you see, if I move over here, just see if I can get like a good idea of what this does. So we can select on right here, uh, select on this clip with a drop shadow. As you can see, you can mess with this. You see, now you have this really cool drop shadow. As you can see right here, it's you know it's not super noticeable. It's a subtle effect. Obviously, it's going to look a lot better on clips that are lighter because these clips, the lighting is so similar. Because uh, or it's going to have a dark lighting, it's kind of hard to see the drop shadow. But as you can see, if we play the clip. Now you have this really cool collage effect. Again, this effect works really well on two clips that are kind of like our matte cut. So you're kind of switching between two match cuts, which I think is really cool But just in general it is like a really cool effect and just saves you a lot of time And then I see you use my really cool paper rip collage pack it is for sale on my digital store The link is down in the description below if you enjoy these types of videos Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins presets overlays and transitions Definitely go ahead and check out my digital store again. The link is down in the description below. Anyways, I will see you in the next one peace